I'm going to use energy analysis to work out the speed of this dart fired from this crossbow. First thing to think about when you're doing energy analysis is think about your stores. I'm starting here with an elastic energy store and I'm converting that by the law of conservation of energy into a kinetic store. Once you've got your two stores worked out, get the equations ready and do the analysis. So I need to measure the force when it is fully extended, which is coming out at 5.5 newtons, let's say. And well, let's just presume that over that time, that string and the crossbow arms, they just obeyed Hooke's law. Now the area underneath this graph is equivalent to the energy stored in the spring. So I need to know this point here as well. I know that this point here is 5.5 newtons and I want to know what this point is. 16 and a half centimeters. I'll convert that into meters before I use it though. And then if I do the area underneath that graph, which is a triangle, so the elastic strain energy is a half times F times delta X. And this is actually an equation that we sometimes just remember for simplicity's sake. So a half times 5.5 times 0.165 is equal to 0.45 joules. So all of that is going to be converted into kinetic energy. And our equation for kinetic energy is Kinetic energy is half mv squared. So the next thing I need to measure is the mass. Not obviously of the whole crossbow, just the bolt. And once again, we don't want to use grams, we want to use kilograms. So before I even reach for a calculator or do any other working, convert that into kilograms just by dividing it by a thousand or moving the decimal place three times. Okay, easy peasy so far. And then we want to work out V, which is the velocity. And if I rearrange this for V, well, times it by two, divide it by M, and then root it. So 2EK over M rooted. 15.4 meters per second. That seems quite sensible to me. 15.4 uh, meters every second. The room's about seven meters wide, uh, does it take about half a second to get to the other end? Yeah, probably, that, that seems a pretty sensible number for this. Of course, it's not gonna quite be as high as that because some of the energy does not go into the kinetic energy. So it's not all converted because nothing can be 100% efficient. But this is a useful workaround to give us an estimation of what speed we should get from our um, crossbow or from anything where we're converting into kinetic energy. It's well worth considering though, especially for those of you that are going on to A level or you're more confident with your algebra or you just want to know a bit of a shortcut. When wherever we're talking about one type of energy converting into a net into the next, we're talking about them being equal at least in theory or in a situation where there's no friction, there's no energy wasted. So let's just do that. So if we know the formula for this is a half F delta X, so this is the elastic strain energy force times by the extension, but halved because this is an average force, is equal to a half MV squared. Then we can very quickly do, well, first of all, we can times both sides by two, so I have F delta x is equal to mv squared and then rearrange for v I can just straight away do f delta x over m is v squared so v is the root of f delta x over m so if I just wanted to work out what I needed to measure work out my algebra 
put my measurements directly in to my calculation and go straight for the velocity. This would be a quicker way of working than actually bothering to work out the energy at any point. I'm going to use energy analysis to work out the speed of this dart as it leaves this crossbow. 